Oh yes, I'm sure you've all guessed it's a CBL. But uh, maybe you're wrong because it might not be a CBL. It might be an XJ900. Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, as you've probably realised, I now have two projects. But uh, the CBR, I think I'm going to put it on the back burner, concentrate on the XJ. Because I think the CBR needs a lot more work than the CJ does. Well, I don't know till I get into it, but uh, that's the way I'm thinking. And I do want to get the C, the, the C. And I do want to get the XJ on the road for next summer. Then I can sell my CBR. Once I know if the engine's running perfect, then I'm going to sell the CBR and use that next summer. So I'm going to concentrate on that and leave this till probably summertime. I don't know. Whenever it's uh, whenever that's done. I'll start this, but uh, I haven't got so much time as I used to have, so I've actually started a new welding course, I know, my age, an apprentice, <laughs> it's a six weeks course and hopefully there'll be a welding engineering job after it, but I don't want to be like these you know, I like watching these videos on YouTube of guys making the street fighters with the petrol tanks and with making the calf races and the two at once and I'll see you next Friday and you don't see them for four weeks and they're, oh, I've been a bit busy. Or they're doing a street fighter petrol tank bike and then, oh, I'm doing something on my Triumph this week. Oh, I'm going out on my HJR this week to test my turbo out. You know, just want a video each week, don't you? So you're there watching it. A bit, bit, bit like The Walking Dead, isn't it? You love The Walking Dead. Oh, The Walking Dead's on on Monday night. Eh, uh, sorry. Walking Dead's been cancelled tonight. We've got cooking instead. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to be like that. I've got less time on my hands, so what I'm going to do is probably have a break. But I'll not be having a break because I'll be making videos, but I'll have a break from YouTube. So I've got an handful of videos in front of me, so I can put them up each week in advance. Does that make sense? Uh, first things first, I think we all know it's not going to start. Get the petrol tank off, because it's got 10 year old fuel in it. And if anybody knows what old fuel smells like, it is pretty bad. So first job, get the tank off. Second job, get the battery hooked up and see if it turns over. Let's try and get the petrol tank off. Yes, there is a, another little bolt down there but that's missing as well. the fuel port. Cool. 
Or is that weird or what? And there's the fuel tap. How the hell are we supposed to get to the fuel tap? So that means when you want to turn your petrol off and on, when your engine's red hot, you've got to stick your hand in up there. Cool, I don't think so. Anyway, it's seized up, obviously. You know the cobwebs? Oh my god. Yes, I've bought some here, haven't I? I'm going to have to try and sandblast this off. I've got an idea of making my own sandblaster. Which, if it works, will come in very, 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 very handy. And I will involve that in one of my videos. Cool. Brake pedal. Solid. Oh, that moves. Foot rest. Oh. Solid. Anyway, where was we? Petrol tank. Yes. Yeah, there's loads of fuel going to drip out there, so uh, trying to get the tap going. Spraying it with the UD40. Hopefully that is off. You can see all that old petrol spurting out there, can't you? Get ready for it. Oh. Looks like the tap works. Cool, if you could smell that petrol. Oh. Smells deadly, man. Deadly. There we've got a wire plug. Green fumes are giving me a headache. So that's the petrol tank. Off. God. Never seen a bloody filter like that before. It looks like a fucking washing machine. Ugh. Pretty big tank, isn't it? Mind you, there's no top wheel. Okay then. Raining. Oh, it's raining. Lovely. Lovely bit of rain. Right then, so let's get the uh, battery pack on. See if there's anything. Uh, see if there's anything going to happen. so far. No, no, no life. Press the boost button. Where's the boost button? Oh, we've got neutral. We've got any ignition? Oh, 
Ooh, so it turns over. Yes, it turns over. No horn. Oh, it's gone off again. Press the boost button. Got any indicators? Oh yes, we've got indicators. Got any lights? Where's the lights? Oh yeah, we've got headlights. Headlights are on this side lock. Usually on this side for me. Oh, back lights on, yes. Ooh. So there she is, she turns over. So now I suppose we have to check for a spark. Oh, it's bloody freezing. <coughs> Things like that hurt when it's freezing. Now then, what size spark plug spanner do we need for this? Is it this one? 17 mil. Yes. It's a 17 mil. See what they look like. Hopefully they're a nice brown colour. Tan colour. See if we can see any spark. Where's the start button? There it is. Uh, too dead now. Oh, I turned it off. What did you turn it off for, you dickhead? It takes off an hour to turn it back on because the key's knackered. Yeah, not very good, so no, that's it. Any spark, please spark. Oh, yeah. Sort of a spark there, isn't there? So, uh, I get the fearing off. Oh, this has been off before or tried to be off before. It's all bloody loose and fluffy. I'm not sure if these are fixings as well. There's one screw missing so I suppose that's going to be snapped inside isn't it? I should go and read the instructions to see how this thing comes off. So I think that's it, you've got to sort of try and lift it above these rubbers I think. Got these two sort of over. I went and read, read the instructions, it would be something really simple, wouldn't it? I think I've 
done it. Whoa. Now, was that old or what? Okay. I don't know if you can see up there, but the indicator is a 12mm nut. Just trying to get it undone. It's also pretty rusty. again soon do you? Ah, one fixing, two fixing, uh, different bolts, so it's been off before isn't it? That bolt is not the same as that bolt. And it's got a nut underneath it. Surprisingly, it's coming undone. We'll have the same look with this one. I doubt it. Seems to be going round all right. And I think the it's attached to is going round as well. Now I know where I can get that one undone, so I don't know if you can see. I put more grips on the actual bolt stop it spinning because I'm going to drill it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you've seen that but that was my drill snapping and scratching my fearing. Thank you. You're going to start fighting me now aren't you? I'll try and use this drill. Because you see this, it's not my real drill. No, it's not my real drill, it's my step drill. Once again, it's an electric drill and not a battery. See what happens this time. Come on, stop fighting me. I don't want it to get too hot or the plastic will start melting, won't it? Yeah, I know it says Ajax, but it's not Ajax, it's just a soapy wax for car washing. Hopefully that will cool it down. I think we're nearly there. Noticed. Da -da. Yes, please be free. Please don't fight me. Come on.
I guess it's all going round like the other one did. Let's get this one out, this one's alright. Please don't say I've got to drill this one out as well. Yes, you've guessed it. Ball grips on, drill out. What? You really are going to fight me, aren't you? Fucking drill's packed up, ain't it? Uh, let's check the fuse. Thirteen amp. Thirteen amp. Does it work now? On, shall we? Yes, yes, baby, yes. These stupid brass things, aren't it? So, are you going to come off now? I think you are. Do I have to disconnect the headlight or anything? Well, you are a bugger. I did actually break the zip ties on these. And good job pretty damn good job of stopping them from corroding underneath there so I'm well chuffed with that do need new seals but uh, who cares as so long as they're not as rusty as that rusty up there but I don't think the folks will travel that far yes you guessed it Still drilling. Taking the wing off, are you? Try and get this bloody rack off. Rack off. Cool. At least we've got that off anyway. Okay. 
Allen key, oh Allen key. Come on.